Well, it is no field of dreams over in Robstown. In fact, it's barely a sandlot. We're talking about the ballpark at the Richard M. Borchard Fairgrounds. County officials say the ballpark in Robstown is literally falling apart. And county commissioners say they don't have the money needed to make repairs. Our Michael Gibson has the rest of the details for us tonight in this exclusive report. We're here in Robstown outside of the Fairgrounds Ballpark, a place that opened up in 2003 and for a number of years there was quite a lot of activity here. But lately, hardly anything has happened out here and now we're told that it needs millions of dollars in renovations. The 2-2. Line drive and a right the Coastal Bend Aviators played its home games at Fairgrounds Field from 2003 to 2007. Small crowds and the Corpus Christi Hooks coming to town doomed the team's future. Since that time, there have been a few high school baseball playoff games played here, along with several other events. But now... And unfortunately, because of neglect and not investing and not keeping it up, it needs about, you know, it needs four to five million, maybe more, dollars to get it up to snuff. Commissioner John Modest says there's a laundry list of repairs that need to be made. We could see some of the exterior problems like the peeling paint and crumbling concrete stairs. The commissioner says the walk-in refrigerators and freezers need to be completely replaced along with a number of other high ticket items including the playing field. We're talking scoreboard that needs to be replaced. The technology for there and for the sound system needs to be fixed. County Judge Barbara Canales isn't so sure about what could or should be done here to this facility. We've got to scratch our heads, figure out whether or not um, the five million dollars is worth investing, and if so, how would you turn? What would you convert it to? Commissioner Mata says he's heard a few suggestions. I've heard Del Mar College could take it on as a JUCO field, and if that were something that would happen then that would be helpful. I think we could split the cost and really fix it up and they get a good quality uh, uh, field and location. And Here is an official statement that Del Mar College officials sent us in response to the idea of fielding a baseball team in the future and using the stadium. As you can see, they say they're not exploring the idea. Commissioner Mata says that might have been the county's only real and viable option to partner with someone and get this facility back into shape. So the $5 million question remains, why didn't the county keep up the maintenance on this facility? County Judge Barbara Canales says she and the court concentrated on spending taxpayer dollars on facilities around the county that were open and serving people. It did not make sense to put money into this ball field when no one was or is using it. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Thank you.